So Age has about 70 different pieces of Age with over 685 pieces currently on station. We reign, we are a jack of all trades, so to speak. So we have gas turbine engines, air conditioners, night carts, light carts, PAO carts, anything you can think of to support these airframes. F-15 and F-35, and any airframe that may come through to Lake and Heat. For us currently, we are deliberated in nine different teams. So it gives us a lot more manpower to focus on different types of equipment, rotating through several different sections. We're able to focus in on our NCE equipment for bomblers and munitions handling. We're able to focus in on our maintenance factors for F-35s and F-15s, as well as our inspection. And on top of that, we have three different sections for SPUD servicing, so that way we can actually supply the flight line for what they need for airfield operations. We don't only support airframes, we also support other back shops such as NDI, Metals Tech, and even E&E. &E. For a typical ACE operation or rapid deployment, the first thing is whenever the tasker drops, we are already on it. We usually have the equipment already hand-picked well beforehand, well before we even know, to be honest with you. And within 24 hours, we're able to deploy this equipment, whether it be by air or by land and we can get into any country that the USAFE or the Air Force needs. Hey, I'm Rintele Masters, and I'm an age journeyman. Specifically, we work on over 400 pieces of equipment and 40 different types of pieces. They all do a lot of different things. We work on all of the equipment, we maintain it when it breaks, and we deliver it to the Jets when they call us, and we inspect it to make sure that it's always at its best capabilities. I'm Staff Sergeant Jared Land. Uh, my job is Aerospace Ground Equipment. I'm in the uh, Munitions uh, Aerospace Ground Equipment section. Our job is important to our mission. Uh, without age, they wouldn't be able to diagnose aircraft. Basically what they can do is they can somewhat simulate the aircraft and try to find the problems that the pilots are having in the air. I think some of the misconceptions are um, is we don't just deliver age. I think a lot of people just see the front that we have, which is really just delivering our equipment to the aircraft, but anything and everything that happens with age, we fix it, we replace it, we repair it, we do it. We're certified diesel mechanics, electricians, HVAC technicians, and also hydraulic sessions. So. There's a lot of moving parts. I think that's the main thing, is that we're not just out on the flight line twiddling our thumbs or anything. We're also back here trying to keep the equipment going for everybody. Without age, they would say there's no air power without ground power. So I feel like our job makes a difference in that sense. Hi, my name is Tech Sergeant Joseph Ryder and I'm the Age Section Chief. I oversee the maintenance, inspections, and dispatch for the flight line here in ASAP. Or all the equipment that comes in here, we have to fix. We're the start and finish of all the units that you see around the aircraft. Some say that Age is the backbone of the flight line. Uh, without Age, you know, they're not gonna have the, we call it life support. A lot of the repairs and a lot of the fixes they have to do on the aircraft, without the service equipment that we provide them, they wouldn't be able to make those repairs. Hi, I'm Senior Airman Sean McKean. I'm an age journeyman. My job is to perform inspections or maintenance and pick up and delivery on the flight line. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Jose Rico, and I'm the NCIC for Aerospace Ground Equipment's PM shift. Favorite thing about the job is just getting getting dirty, being able to complete any maintenance. The flight line's like fine wine. It only gets better with age. At the end of the day, I can feel accomplished saying that I'm a part of that aircraft that's taking off. We did have a part in that mission. We service, repair, maintain, and deliver aerospace ground equipment to our KC-135 fleet here to provide them the ground equipment they need to go off and fly their missions. We do anything from inspecting the equipment, either it being a six month, a yearly, a two year, to make sure that the equipment is ready to go out there. We also perform maintenance whenever the equipment breaks, and we also perform pickup and delivery, supporting all the aerospace ground equipment on the line and the jets. So teamwork in the shop is very important to us. Without each section working together, we would not be able to accomplish our mission of making sure we have units out on the line to roll. It's very enjoyable to be able to connect with the airmen to figure out where their shortfalls are, to train them on the stuff they need, to watch them grow as a maintenance personnel. 
Um, I love seeing Airmen come in saying, I have no idea what's wrong with this unit. And then a day or two later, them figuring it out, them being happy, putting a part on it and seeing it roll. Maintenance is a very great working environment. The hours may be long, but we're always smiling along the way and making sure stuff rolls out. I'm Airman First Class Brody Schrader. I'm an aerospace ground equipment journeyman. So on a normal day-to-day -day week, it, I normally maintain over 500 pieces of age to facilitate aircraft maintenance and provide sorties. The way I maintain this is by delivering equipment, making sure it is in a timely manner, as well as doing service inspections to make sure that all my equipment is good and reliable. My job is crucial because I provide pneumatic, bleed air, HVAC, electrical, and hydraulic servicing for the maintainers working on the F-15s in order to put them up in the air. I like this job because it gives me something new to work on every single day. I never have the same problem twice. I'm Airman First Class Brody Schrader, and I am a fighter of the fourth. We're swapping out an engine on this power cart. The old engine had a gasket, head gasket that blew. So it's spewing engine oil and coolant all over. So we had to swap this one in and out really quick. What I was doing, I was pulling apart the fan hub assembly to replace the drive belt on the self-generating nitrogen service cart. The drive belt helps turn all the components inside of the unit. Um, they use these to fill tires. It helps keep aircraft off the ground, <laughs> keep flying, you know, accomplish the mission possibly save some lives. It's important for the big Air Force in the sense that we need other airmen to know this job really well so we can turn these in and out really quick. Try and keep these engines well maintained so that they can stay out on the flight line longer and we don't have to have big downtime. Hi, my name is Jared Silva. I work in the aerospace ground equipment shop for the 143rd Maintenance Squadron. We basically fix the equipment that they use to fix the airplanes. So everything from power units to hydraulic test stands to air conditioning units, we maintain, we fix, and we deliver to the maintainers out on the line working on the airplanes. My favorite thing about this job is the diversity in the equipment that we use. The things we learn in this job are everything from diesel engines to jet engine turbines, hydraulic systems, refrigeration systems. The good thing about this career field is it encompasses almost everything that the airplane has, but we maintain the different units that would work or service those individual items. So on a civilian side, you can get jobs anywhere from you know, HVAC companies to diesel mechanics to uh, refrigeration services. Um, coming out of tech school you have a refrigeration certificate that normally on the outside you would have to pay for but the military provides that to you here. People good at this job are usually flexible. They have pretty good troubleshooting skills or they're interested in finding out you know, what's going wrong with each piece of equipment and really diving into it. People who want to take things apart and, and put them back together, those are the people that are, the, are best suited for this career field.